Good morning everyone, welcome back to another new theme park here in Europe. Today we're at Movie Park Germany. We're back in Deutschland. We are hitting a bunch of parks in this country, starting with this one. Tomorrow is also gonna be an exceptional day. We're going to Fantasialand tomorrow. I'm trying not to cry over that. So for now we're holding ourselves over by going to Movie Park Germany. Now there is still some pretty cool stuff here. We got Star Trek Operation Enterprise, which is a triple launch coaster, I believe, by my God, I wanna say mock rides. I don't know. I think it's a mock, but yeah, that's what I'm most looking forward to here. The park also has a lot of filler coasters. Really, it's not, it's kind of the equivalent of like the, a Six Flags park if it were in Germany. It still looks like a fun time though. It's probably probably more um, nicely maintained though and more well landscaped than most Six Flags parks. We're gonna head and find out for ourselves. We do see an SLC in the background. Not, not a good sign, but are you excited about the SLC? No. Well, hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna head to Star Trek first. Guys, we're joined by two enthusiasts. We got Tim and Robin. What's going on? We're about to ride Star Trek. This is their home park. They're showing us around, and then we're gonna head to a fair in Dusseldorf. It's one of the biggest fairs in Germany. I can't wait to check it out. And they're gonna be our tour guides because we have no idea what we're doing. We just got off of Star Trek Operation Enterprise. It's a swing launch coaster by Mock Rides. It's a really fun ride. It's smooth, a great theme. The soundtrack is also incredible. I love that soundtrack. It's just a nice quality ride. It's not anything too crazy. It's not, not gonna knock your socks off, but it's a fun experience and I really enjoyed it. Also that back spike, I love how they twisted that. That is so much fun. It's an enjoyable coaster, right? The theming was fine. It was cool at the beginning when it shifted you over a nice sense of anticipation. Oh yeah. Kind of a short ride, kind of a slow wrong ride, but lots of hang time. Oh, the hang time is awesome on this. Certainly yeah. the hang time was there. Yeah, the hang time is the best part. Um, for those of you who love hang time, this is just up your alley. How'd you guys like that? I love it. It's a great ride. I yeah. like the theming. Uh, the vertical spike is great. Um, the launch is um, not so crazy. It's Mark. <laughs> yeah, it's and, Mark. Uh, yeah, solid experience. Yeah, pretty good ride. Uh, but Terran is better. Yes. Oh my god, we're riding Terran tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to hi hyperventilate. But it's okay. We're going to make it through. We're riding an SLC now, so that's going to get my spirit down a little bit. Yeah, it looks like junk, but I mean, hey, it's hopefully okay, hopefully it rides like it's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's not it at least visually looks cool with that brown and gray. It's a neat color scheme. So let's get on this. Another credit to Knockout here at Movie Park Germany. Give that a two out of ten. I get two point a two point five. Oh, because our, our, our friends here when said it was going to be janky at a spot, and they were really accurate. Yeah, like, at least right they when, we yeah. got to brace. Right when he said it was janky, it became really janky. I was like, damn. Can we just like sign a petition? Get rid of all these damn SLCs. These are outdated. I can't believe that how many of these are in Europe. What are we? So we're doing Bandit next, yeah, awesome which is in. Roller Coaster Corporation of America wooden coaster. I don't think I've ever done an RCCA wooden oh, coaster. Okay. So this looks um, interesting. They say it's pretty rough. I think I'll be able to enjoy it as long as I'm not on a wheel seat. Might, might not be too bad. We'll see. We'll see. Bandit was interesting. So I know my RCCA is defunct. It makes a lot of sense. It's really dull. Like it doesn't do anything. It wasn't that rough in a non-wheel seat, but they rode in a wheel seat and... Yeah. <laughs> one moment just hit different. Yeah. The one on the at uh, first atom hill, it's just, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's you so know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, feel, I felt that. It started shaking like crazy. Yeah, that thing is in desperate, desperate need of an RMC treatment. And yet, this park refuses to. They've been asked, hey, do you want an RMC bandit? Will that ever happen? And they always say no, because it's, a, it's popular with the, the, the public here. I don't get it. It's a perfect RMC conversion. Um, and also not only that, they're spending so much money each year retracking it when they could spend literally 8 million euro on an RMC. Oh, actually it would be much more expensive because 
are shipping the track out to Europe. But still, I feel like it would be a very good investment. Just I feel like, like the, it would. Just like the Star Trek theme ride, it was just way too slow. I mean, where was the intensity? It's, it's like they slowed Well, okay, that's a bad comparison because Star Trek is intentionally being slow for hang time. That's, that's being true. slow for absolutely no reason. Maybe so. At the top of the lift hill, it just slowed you down. Yeah. And, and you're going at the snail's pace, and then you're taking all the turns, like, microscopically slow. <laughs> microscopically slow. I mean, why? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a really dull ride. I'm glad to have gotten that in the SLC out of the way right away. Didn't have to wait for either of them, which is always a plus because you never want to be waiting for dull and pretty bad rides. So it's that's nice. Um, what's up next is Val Helsing's factory, Van Helsing's factory, excuse yeah. me. This is an indoor wild mouse bobsled thing. Whoa. So it looks pretty fun. It's, I imagine it to be like Tiki Waka, but indoors, but with a completely different theme. So. And Tiki Waka was fun, so I look forward to doing this. This park has two indoor coasters. I actually can't wait to ride, and this is going to be the first one. So let's hit it. This is Brown Silver on Channel 8. Just got off of Van Helsing's factory. That was actually one of my favorite family coasters maybe ever. So it's... A uh, wild mouse, but it's a bobsled model. So you have all these cool helixes and big turns and, and stuff like that. But then the whole time you have this incredibly deep, dark, ominous theme, and the ride ops were trolling you, which really makes the experience. One of them kept spraying me with a water gun, and the other one got up in my face and like started whispering in my ear. It was crazy. Like these people are, they have no filter. Germans are built different, guys. And that was just a really fun experience. The layout was awesome. I really liked it. Yeah, it was great, but one effect didn't work. Uh, the fog wall, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good ride. It's, yeah, it's great, sure. yeah. Oh, I love that one. One of my favorite uh, Gustav Bob sets, actually. And I like the theming, I like the uh, yeah, the ride itself. It's just a great experience, I think. Theming outstanding. The theming yeah. is outstanding on that. The theming was there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was dark. They had these like like arms and limbs hanging from the ceiling with blood on them. I, I wanted to show you guys, but I think it would be demonetized immediately. I, that was so I wish that the ride was a little bit longer. Yeah, it was, it was short. Intense. Absolutely, it was short. Yeah. But, but no, it was a great family ride. Regieassistent des weltberühmten Regisseurs und Visionärs Steven Frillberg. Eigentlich würde er euch an dieser Stelle begrüßen. Aber könnt ihr euch das vorstellen? Er dreht heute nicht nur eine, nicht zwei, sondern drei Filme zugleich. Movie Park Studios was a pleasant surprise. That is excellently well done like it's so themed and so immersive so you basically have this theming that's like taking you behind the scenes of what it's like to direct a movie create a movie and you see these like quirky like puns on the side too so you got like bugs bunny there's references to van helsing's factory there's like bigfoot or godzilla or something like reaching out to grab you like it's so crazy yeah pretty good i think the first room uh, is the best one. Oh, it's uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, the heating uh, on the right side is funny. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I also like it. Uh, I think you have to ride it multiple times though to uh, like get all the theming and stuff. Yeah, but it's a great experience. I mean, I, I think it's the best attraction here. So uh, yeah, I like it. I could definitely see that. I really like how it launches you backwards. It's, it's a pretty unpredictable ride. Really well themed. Really like it. We're doing a rapids right next. I did not know this was here. The theming is excellent in the queue line. Guys, we have another enthusiast with us, Julian. We have- And you can't see me, but- Yeah, you can't really see you. <laughs> we have so many enthusiasts, and there was a guy who um, actually recognized me in line for uh, Movie Park Studios. We did it a second time. So shout out to all of you guys, because I've probably never been recognized more in a park than Movie Park, which is very interesting. Anyways, we're on this rapids ride, and you it's pitch black. The screen is pitch black. You can't see anything. Hey, now you can see him! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
How do you keep getting the most wet? I don't know, my back. No, no, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, I don't want it to be my turn, please. Okay. Please. Okay, I'm good. Just got another ride on Star Trek Operation Enterprise. It's a really fun coaster. That hang time is brutal. What do you think, yeah. Julian? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what is that? Like, the hang time is insane. Yeah. Like, insane. I, I think it's a pretty good Mac coaster, so I think it's one of my favorite Mac coasters. Yeah. So, and it has like every, everything. It has with laterals, it has airtime, it has launches, short, even though they are weak. But yeah, it is a little time. bit. It is a little yeah. bit short, to be fair. I, yeah. I do think that's a valid critique. So we're wrapping up our day at Movie Park Germany. Sorry if it's one of the shorter vlogs of the trip because I can't record on the rides here and you can at most of the European theme parks we're visiting. However, I still had a really fun time. It's definitely worth stopping by here if you're uh, traveling through Germany for amusement parks and theme parks. Right now we're heading to the second largest fair in Germany. It's actually in Dusseldorf. That'll have its own separate vlog. It's gonna be a lot of fun. They have some absolutely incredible flat rides and actually some pretty large coasters there as well. So see you guys there and for now, peace out Movie Park Germany. Thanks for having us.